Hi guys, welcome back. This is day 3 of Learn SQL Server in a 60 days. Today in this video, we'll talk about some more interesting things in SQL Server as a good start. So just to recap, we have seen in last video, uh, what are the different system databases we have and what are the different uh, purposes of them, those we have seen but you know those databases are used by the system but sometime for our development for our uh, application development we require we need to require a separate database so we call it as the user defined database because user created the databases which are created by the user are called a user defined databases right so we'll talk about that in today's session so first of all i will show you how many points we will be covering today we'll be covering following points so one is user defined database as i define user defined databases are the databases which are created by the user for their own purpose right okay next is how to create database just to go sql server Here we'll see the databases section. Just expand it. And in databases section, you will see a lot of other databases. These are the uh, test databases I have created for other uh, purposes. But right now, you can just click on the database. And there you will see the new database. There are two ways we can create database. Uh, one is from GUI. The things which you can do graphically, that is called graphic user interface that is a GUI way and the things which you can done through the query that is called as the script right so we can do by the both way I will show one by one just simply uh, I will show first of all by GUI way so we need to right click on the database then click on the new database section when we we'll click on the new database one pop-up window will come and the title will be the new databases here we'll need to specify the name for the database I will give as a date three test database owner like uh, it's uh, just for security purpose default is dbo next is the options there are different level of option we'll talk about that now next part is database files so whenever any database get created that time two file by default will be there one is the data file another is a log file the data file end with the extension called as a dot mdf and the log file ends with the extension dot ldf okay mdfs is for the master data file and ldf is for the log data file there is a one more kind of file we have and that is called as the ndf ndf secondary data file you will understand the purposes and the differences between them in the next few minutes so mdf is the master data file we stored the primary data next is uh, ldf we stored the log or transactional log data and ndf is the uh, data file but it is a secondary data by some time it is required to add some extra file to the server to database so we need to use the third file then that extension will be dot ndf right so these are the files which will automatically created here you will see the path so you can change the path but for now I don't require to change it so I'm not changing it so let me show you the content in this one so here you will see there that the last modify it was 928 date modified right so the last date modified is 9 20 23 okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a database and which is the day 3 test database when i click on the okay that time this two file will be created okay i will show you just click it on okay now this two databases two files have been created i can show you here 
these are the two files just now it is created 11 15 2017 right so these are the two file uh, are created just because we have just created database so this is my databases just right click on that and go to the property section You will here you here is a section called as a files here you will see uh, two files are created as I discussed there will be two in uh, two extension dot MDF and LDF now you can see for data file it's a MDF and for log file it is a LDF one more important point I would like to show you here the thing is called as a file group so file group is a container which contains the file now you will see here the primary and this is the file group and it has only one file and if I want to add one more file group can I add it yes you can add it like this you can just give any name uh, then you simply need to click OK again go to the property section and when you will go to the file group section you will see this is the secondary file group but it doesn't have any file so if I want to add a file with that file group uh, for this database so how can I do that just click on the add here you need to specify the name for the file I am specifying as the secondary okay here you know file type we have to see do we need to specify log or the data but we only have only one log file so we need to specify as a row data type then here is a section called as a file group here we need to specify which file group it is then I simply need to click on ok when I come here ok uh, after uh, before that I will show you here that new file is just now created uh, with the extension dot ndf we haven't given any extension it has automatically taken and this file has been created automatically right ok next just to cross verify right click on the database go to the property section uh, this file is just now created grade and the file group section if I'll go I will see there this is the only one file with this secondary file group so basically file group is a container which contains file we can place the file on the different drive here like this just now we have uh, we have created this ndf and we have placed it on c drive we can place it on any drive that's not a big thing okay and uh, let's talk about the different properties here so here uh, in general we'll see the uh, last database backup has taken or not then last database backup none i will show you how to do a backup when we'll move to the backup section then here some we'll see some database related things like uh, status what is the status of my database then the owner who is the owner i am the owner right uh, then when the database was created the size of the database and the space available so, so you can see the size of database here is the five and number of users are four users collation um, this is for some internalization and this is you can see here these are the different properties right then files yeah we have just discussed these many files have just added then file group we know then option in option section we will see lot of uh, different important thing the one is recovery model there are a few recovery model we'll talk about them when we'll move to the uh, backup and recovery model concept uh, then compatibility level is very important you know uh, sql server 2005 was first one and after that 2012 then after that 2012 so we, uh, we can revert back to any version of the SQL server by just uh, going by just uh, by just setting the compatibility level to the SQL server then here we are having some options I think those will be very burning for uh, right now we'll talk about that when we'll move to the respective section change tracking this is also if we have enabled the tracking on it then permissions you can see different type of role we can add different type of user different type of permission we can give extended permissions then mirroring so this mirroring and the transaction log things will come into the high availability feature when we will move for the db mirroring that time we will see some here principal mirror and witness server and then we will move for the transaction log shipping basically it's a log shipping so there you will see the primary and secondary all kind of uh, server level information here we can see now we just have created the databases this, this is the user database 
user created database what we have covered right now we have covered the uh, data how to create databases how what are the different files with this what are the file groups how to add the files now we'll talk about the file group and this option just right click on that again go to the file section okay now here are the few things i would like to discuss the one is initial size and auto growth and max size so initial size is a size which is a uh, initial size of a database this is 4 mb this is 4 mb and this is 4 mb so in an average this is 8 and 1 9 mb we have set okay now out of that uh, there is a one of first option is auto growth so how many uh, mb the data file first data file will be in incremented if when the size reached to the 4 mb it will buy 1 mb it will be by 1 mb and it will be the 10 percent of 1 mb then what is the maximum size of the database so you know sometime a uh, log file get increased so we need to keep a uh, limit on the file that it should not go beyond that then we need to use the max size property here we need to specify all those things and we need to that okay so this is all about the different uh, properties uh, that's the maxed uh, um, file growth auto growth and max file okay i think uh, this would be enough for this video will in the next video onward we'll talking about different uh, interesting concept okay uh, so hope you like our video regarding the uh, how to create databases and how to create the files how to add files how to create file groups how to add files to the file group and different uh, database level options that's the file growth auto growth and max size options um, thanks for watching we'll uh, upload the day for video soon and hope you'll enjoy it if you like our videos please subscribe us so that we can uh, get confidence that we are doing good and we'll upload more videos thanks for watching have a great day thanks